Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this look right here. I went for something very classic, very simple to achieve. A lot of you guys asked for a video on how I do my wing liner and everything. So I thought we would do that as well, as well as review this Huda Beauty liner for you guys. So it's like a how-to video. It's a classic glam look. It's a Huda Beauty review all thrown into one thing, okay? <laughs> I didn't want to just do a review and just show you guys how I buy a wing liner on its own. I feel like that would be kind of such a short video. I feel like it would kind of be boring. So I thought I would bring you guys a whole classic look. And I'm really glad I did because it's a vibe. I'm really feeling how this looks. I'm feeling myself right now. So yeah, I'm going to zoom you guys in closer and let's get into this beat. All right, so first we're gonna start off with some eyeshadow and the palette I'm gonna be using today is by Morphe. This is their Old Boy 25D eyeshadow palette. I'm obsessed with this palette. As you can see, it's like all brown tones, so it's perfect for a super chill, subtle eye look. I personally prefer brown tones when I really wanna keep my eyeshadow look very subtle, very natural, because I feel like it complements my skin tone very well. Now, these shadows don't have any names on them, so I'm just gonna be pointing to each each shade as I go on but right now I'm just going ahead and starting with my transition color and just blending it out I'm gonna be keeping the eye look very simple all matte because I want the focus to be on the dramatic eyeliner but all we're doing is using these eyeshadows to create some definition in our eyes to give it more of a shape and put a little more color there so now I'm just packing this shade onto my lid. It literally looks like skin tone. So I'm just using it to clean up the lid. Nothing too crazy, keeping it very subtle as you can see. And now I'm taking our next shade, which I'm gonna be using to intensify the crease a little more, add a little more definition there, add a little more of a warm tone brown. And I'm also blending it into our lid shade. So it has like kind of like a gradient effect between the two shades. I love doing this. I feel like it helps the eyeshadow look so much better and properly blended if you know what I mean so that's just all I'm going ahead and doing now So now for the moment that I've been waiting for, yes, honey, this is the Huda Beauty Life Liner. And I'm pretty much going to show you guys how I do my wing liner. So I just start off by creating that line on my lid, as you can see, deciding on how thick I want it to be. I personally prefer a thicker liner on my eye because I feel like I have a bigger eye shape so I can get away with it. So I like a very dramatic wing. And now I'm just creating that wing on the outer corner, as you guys can see, pretty straightforward. And then I'm gonna go in with some concealer after that, just to really clean it up and really to make it as sharp as possible. I like a really defined, sharp, crisp wing. So now I'm gonna leave the eyes as is and I'm gonna get into our base makeup. I'm gonna start off with my Too Faced Hangover Primer. I am obsessed with this primer. It's so good for those of you guys who have dry skin. And now for foundation, I'm taking my Lancome Tinted Doll Ultra Wear Foundation and I'm in the shade 435W. This used to be one of my favorite foundation formulas, but you guys know how it is. I got comfortable with my Fenty, with my nude sticks, you know, my regular foundation rotation but now I'm starting to bring back some of my old faves and trying more different foundations from my makeup collection so I was really excited to bring this one back and now I'm gonna be going in with some concealer and I'm gonna be taking two shades today from Nabla Cosmetics and these are their close-up stay full smooth concealers I'm using one shade just to highlight and brighten and then the other shade just to make it seem more natural if that makes sense and then I'm going in with them on the side of my nose and the side of my lips just to add more coverage because that is where my foundation tends to separate the fastest so the lighter shade that I went in with is called golden beige and then the more skin tone like shade that I went in with is called Warm Honey. The coverage is really amazing. It's super beautiful and great for those of you guys who have dry skin like me. So I would highly recommend you guys go ahead and check out Nabla Cosmetics. Don't sleep on them and thank me later sis because their complexion products and their products in general are pretty bomb. So now I'm going to go ahead and just set my under eyes using, of course, my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Make sure you guys blend out your under eyes before you set because if you don't, you're going to have a creased under eye and ain't nobody got time for that. It is not cute. 
And now it's time for bronzer. I'm going to be taking one of my faves, the ABH bronzer in the shade Mahogany. And first, I'm going to go ahead and actually dust away my translucent powder first before I go in. And I'm obsessed with this bronzer, guys. It is such a beautiful formula. I've been using it so much lately. Like I said earlier, I'm bringing back so many of my OG favorite makeup products into my makeup rotation. Just so I can switch it up for you guys and give you something different every now and then. You know what I mean? So I'm just going ahead and... And snatching up my nose now and then we're gonna go ahead and set our face so I'm gonna be using two setting sprays today first I'm gonna be going in with my fresh vitamin nectar glow water because I love using this to add a beautiful glow to my skin it helps break down the powderiness and the cakiness of our foundation just making everything look very skin like and then I'm gonna go in with my urban decay all-nighter setting spray because that's gonna lock our foundation in place all day long it's not gonna budge so I'm mixing a bit of both and now I'm gonna be going in with with some highlight and I'm gonna be taking my Mac oh darling highlight I love going in with highlight after I set my face because it just really allows your highlight to be so beautiful and blinding which is what I'm here for I love a blinding glow so now it's time for lashes and today's lashes are by Shop Sansa Beauty. I'm obsessed with these lashes guys. These are in the style double double and you guys are going to see in a sec like how bomb they come out. I was so shook at how beautiful these lashes are. Now these lashes are made by a fellow Toronto influencer. Her name is Sana Zaid. So make sure you guys go ahead and check out her lashes and support a Canadian influencer, a woman of color. Like these lashes are so bomb bomb and boom look at that guys i mean it just brought the whole look to life complemented my wing perfectly so now i'm gonna add my final touches which is some lipstick and i'm gonna be going in with this beautiful red lipstick and this lipstick is by sam marcel it's in the shade isabella and i'm just obsessed with how this lipstick turned out it's just such a beautiful shade i feel like it complemented my skin tone very well like it's not too bright it's like a beautiful shade of red and i'm obsessed with it and i'm here for it all right guys and this is the final look i'm so obsessed with how it turned out i feel like this is just such a classy but super easy look to recreate if you guys want to try it out for yourselves and this just reminded me of how much i live for a wing liner because i haven't been doing that for a long time now to give you guys my final thoughts on the huda beauty life liner i honestly think that it's a really great liner like i'm looking at it right now it has not chipped it hasn't done some weird things that you know certainly liquid liners do if you know what i mean if you use a liquid liner often you guys know what i'm talking about a certain amount of them they flake they look weird the only thing i would love to change about it is just i wish that the actual brush was just a little more fine because then it can help you you know really create a crisp wing i feel like i had to really go out with some concealer to sharpen it up that's just my little thing that i would change basically but other than that i love it it's such a nice dark black aligner so really really beautiful on the eyes and it does not chip at all and it's not moving so i have nothing bad to say about this liner if you guys are looking for a new liner to cop i would highly suggest this because you get two in one you know you get your pencil on one side and you get the liquid liner on the other so a really great product in my opinion so i will definitely be using that a lot more but yeah overall i'm super happy with this whole entire look this lipstick is bomb like everything i feel like the whole red lip really brought the look to life if you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure to give it a big thumbs up also make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and join the family it would really mean a lot to me if you did i upload every thursday and sunday so make sure you guys have your bell notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of my uploads and like always i'll see you guys in my next video